It was a sunny but windy Wednesday morning in Inalahan as war survivors, their families, island residents, military partners, and local government leaders gathered to recognize the lives lost during World War II. Dozens sat underneath white canopies as the program went on for the Inalahan War Memorial Ceremony across Bear Rock. According to Inalahan Mayor Anthony Chargloff, it was the area's travel route but also later became a resting ground for war victims who were forced to march to Manegan. After hearing the Menengan took a hit, they turned back seeking refuge south. Diana Menu San Nicolas, who will be turning 78 tomorrow, was among the crowd of attendees. She told KUAM News that she was just seven days old when Guam was liberated from the Japanese occupation of Guam. Nearly eight decades ago was times of uncertainty for many Guam residents like her mother, who gave birth to San Nicolas on July 14, 1944. Hearing the island being free from Japan's armed forces a week after San Nicolas was born, her family were optimistic about their future. They were happy when uh, the information came that uh, the war is over. So finally they had to go back home. It's still in Malolo because they're staying, you know, like mostly like farming. Yeah. That's where we get our lives, uh, the farm, and we build uh, a house that is good to us for us to be sheltered, right? That's uh, until later on when they started improving it. As the Nicholas shared her story with KUAM News, Zena San Nicholas Ruiz, who is 55 years old, her daughter, appeared emotional. Ruiz explained why. My mother never, never was very forthcoming with um, her birthplace, which is Podestas, because it's a cave and it's not a clean place. And so, so those times we didn't really go into it because, you know, um, it didn't seem that it, it was something that we should be knowledgeable about. But as I got older and I understand, you know, the survive, what, what it means to be a survivor, I told her she is a survivor. If she didn't survive, I wouldn't be here. It is our story as Chihuahua people and it needs to be told and it needs to be in, in books and it needs to be understood. Meanwhile, it's history in the making for the beautiful southern village of Inalahan. During the ceremony, the memorial site's design was unveiled with the goal of completing the construction project by December of this year. The construction plans were signed and is now headed through the permitting process. In conclusion, war survivors were joined by family members as they released white biodegradable doves. Mayor Chargloff said that letting go this dove balloons was a symbol of expression for war survivors to leave the bad and painful memories in the past. Reporting for KUAM News, Guahu Siazia Agan.